Join me today as I unbox my newest piece of Astro gear. It's the ASI Air Mini. Hey folks, my name's Steve and welcome to Scotia Astro. Today I'll be discussing the ASI Air Mini to show you what comes in the box, a little bit about how it compares to the other ASI Air units and what I'm planning to use it for. I'll do a more detailed review once I have a good play around with it and I'll feature that in a future video. If you want to join me for more astrophotography adventures from the UK, then please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell notification below so you can keep updated with all my content. For full disclosure, this is my own unit that I paid for myself, so let's get into the video. The Mini is the fourth iteration of the widely popular ASI Air series of smart Wi-Fi devices that help you control your astro imaging sessions. They're basically a power module, USB hub, and imaging computer all wrapped up into one tiny portable unit, which can be controlled from a smartphone or tablet. In addition to the Mini, there's also the original ASI Air, which I've never used, and the Pro and Plus versions, which I do have. If you want to see a full comparison video of the different versions, let me know in the comments below. The unit comes in a neat little box and contains some leads and other accessories to help you get started using it. The first thing to say is I'm surprised just how tiny this version of the ASI Air is. I knew it was small, but you don't appreciate how small it is until you actually see it, especially when compared to the larger earlier versions. This lightweight is great for minimizing any unwanted bulk to your astro imaging rigs, and as you'll see later, I'm planning to use it in one of my smaller setups. It's really well constructed, and according to ZWO, its aluminium CNC case gives enhanced protection against dust and dew. Like my other ASI Air units, the Mini has a durable quality feel to it, and I'm sure it'll perform just as well in the different seasonal conditions that we get here in the UK. You get an included mounting bracket for attaching the Mini to your chosen imaging rig, and if you're looking for more mounting options, there's also a wide range of third-party adapters that can be added to your unit to fit almost any scenario. Check out the links in the description below the video to see the ones that I use in my setups. So what else is in the box? Apart from the Mini itself, you get five DC power cables, which are 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter fittings. There's two 0.5 meter cables, two one meter cables, and a 1.5 meter extension cable. This gives you some options for cable management and how you want to power your accessories. You'll also see an antenna for improving your Wi-Fi connection. I'll share more about this in my future video to let you know how well it works in my shooting scenarios. For main power into the ASI Air itself, you'll need a 12 volt power supply adapter from the mains, or you can use an external battery or power tank. There's more information on power and accessory connection options in the included user's guide, so check that out to see how it relates to your imaging setup. Despite its small size, the Mini has a nice selection of ports to plug in your chosen camera and accessories. While not having as many ports as its bigger siblings, the Mini still looks great for smaller setups. On one of the longer sides, there's two 12 volt outputs for connecting a dedicated astro camera, a compatible mount or a dew heater. There's also a shutter release port for a compatible DSLR camera, and you can see if yours is able to work with the Mini on ZWO's website, which I'll link in the description below. On the opposite side, you'll find two 12 volt outputs and a USB-C port, which can be used to connect to PC or laptop. ZWO also states that it can power the Mini itself with a compatible 5 volt 0.5 amp power supply. On the shorter sides of the Mini, there's even more connection options. On one side, you get four USB 2.0 ports and the other, you have a 12 volt output. There's also a reset button and an antenna connection and a series of LED display lights. Like the larger ASI Air Plus, the Mini features integrated storage using an embedded multimedia card or eMMC storage. This can provide faster reading and writing data speeds between the Mini and your tablet and computer. The storage space of the eMMC is listed as 32 gigabytes, but ZWO makes it clear that only around 20 gigabytes of this is usable during imaging. You do though have the option of expanding your storage by using your own USB stick in one of the available USB ports, so it's good to have choice here. As I say, once I've had a chance to use the Mini for a while, I'll do a more in-depth review in a real-time imaging session, so stay tuned for that. Finally, I wanted to let you all know what I'll be using the Mini for. As many of you have seen on some of my previous videos, I built a fast wide field rig based around the Samyang 135 f2 lens, which I love. As it's such a small setup, I thought the ASIR Mini would be great to use, especially as it's so light and it has all the ports and connectivity that I need for this rig. I'm looking forward to testing this combo over the coming months, so stay tuned for that. Do you have a Mini or any of the other ASI Air units? Let me know how you like them and how you use them in the comments below. This will be my final video of 2022, but I'll be back in 2023 with more Astro Adventures from the UK, so hope you can join me then. Take care of yourselves, best wishes from Scotland, and clear skies to you all.